Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking freshwater storage out here for the RV. Uh, the first obstacle we had to overcome, which we did quite well, we uh, had to run power from our breaker panel that the utility company installed over here to a outlet for the camper and into the camper to get everything going in there, get all everything powered up, refrigerator, lights, all that kind of stuff, heat, all that kind of stuff. We had to get all that done. Now today we're going to be talking about freshwater storage. Uh, I've got two 30 gallon drums that I bring water out in and I've been transferring that into the RV freshwater tank which is a 40 gallon tank. Now if you're wondering why that's not good enough, uh, the reason being is because we stayed out here for a week and we just didn't have enough water. Uh, the most convenient place for me to get water is about an hour and a half from here and trying to run back and forth and get water and all that during the day was was not any fun. Uh, so we're going to be have we're going to set up to where we have 275 gallons worth of fresh water storage out here, uh, 60 gallons of fresh water in our drums, and 40 gallons in here. So we could have the potential at one point in time to have 375 gallons out here together, which should get us through a week. Uh, 40 gallons of water just does not last as long as you think it will. Uh, a couple of showers, if you wash a few dishes, a couple of more showers, and you're pretty much done flush the toilet a few times and you're done with 40 gallons. So I'm going to show you how I adapted the, uh, the fitting off my IBC uh, water uh, tote. Four simple uh, fittings is all I use. This is them. We got a uh, two inch threaded to slip which will go on the tank itself. Uh, we got a two inch adapter with a three quarter inch um, three quarter inch uh, threaded which goes in flips in the uh, adapter just like that and then we got a hose bib that'll go on the tank just like that and since I'm running water from a pump into the RV I have to have this because I don't have a hose with two female ends on it so got to adapt it where a uh, a male can fit in the female and we should be good. So let's get all this put together and then I'll show you how I set up my freshwater tanks, uh, my uh, drums, so I can pump both of them at the same time. I don't have to transfer water hose, did all that kind of stuff. This two inch threaded will fit right over the end of this uh, tote, the valve on the tote, just like so. Got this uh, two inch adapter goes down to three quarter inch threaded. Put a little PVC glue on there. Slip it in. Got your uh, hose bib three quarter inch to, uh, to hose right here. Thread it in there. Everything a couple of quick turns. I'm gonna leave it at an angle like that so it's easier for me to hook my hose up to it. Uh, and that should do it. Uh, that's just the simplest way I could come up with, with to do that. Um, now let's get to this uh, to my drums over here. Show you how I set that up to um, to pump the water out of both drums at the same time into this tank. All right, so here's the contraption that I came up with to do both my drums at one time. I've got a 90 on the bottom of the the pipe that's going to go into the uh, into the the tank into the barrel. So it sits on the bottom and pulls from the bottom of the barrel. We'll stick these in each barrel at the same time. And then up on top of the barrel, I have two, a valve on each side so I can isolate each barrel if I want to. Say this one over here is draining a little bit faster than this one, gets to the bottom, I can close this valve and then it's only gonna pull from that side. Then I adapted it down to a, um, into a hose bib so I can hook my hose up here. Now again, 
uh, have a uh, female side is needed on my, my transfer pump to adapt this to fit the wrong, the other end of the, the hose. So I have another one of those female to female hose adapters. So this is the contraption I came up with. Um, and we'll see if it works. Let's get it in these barrels. So as far as the transfer pump goes, I've got this, I know it's on a big old huge piece of wood, uh, but I had the intention of uh, cutting this off. Uh, but evidently people like my tools as much as I do. So I have no tools on my truck right now. I'm sure uh, one, of my, one of my kids, one of my sons probably has borrowed it and uh, has not returned it yet. So as soon as I get my saw back from him, I will, uh, I'll cut this thing off. I might even mount a switch on here uh, so I can have more control of it. Uh, now this pump I'm using is just a cheap little Metis pump. I bought it off Amazon. I am by no way trying to get you to buy this pump, but this pump was only about 50 bucks and it moves the water. Uh, there's bigger, bigger and better pumps out there, um, but this one does the job I needed to do. If it ever burns up, I'll just spend another 50 bucks and get another one. So, but this is, this is what I used to transfer the water with. Now, as far as putting it in the tote, I'm just gonna run a hose right into the top of this tote. Cause there's a cap on here that I can remove. Now I'm pretty sure I could adapt this, come up with some way, probably another two inch, uh, two inch fitting or something. And, uh, but then I'd have to worry about bleeding there. Uh, right now, if I ever get ready to pump, pull water, put water in, just stick the hose in there. I don't have to worry about bleeding there. Uh, if I ever get ready to move water out, put it in the, the RV. When I get ready to take water out, put it in the RV, I just pull this cap so it'll pull air in. Uh, because you know you got to have a place for the air to go in the tank. Uh, you got to put air on top of the water when you're pulling it out. You got to put air, take air off the top of the water when you're putting it in. Uh, so let's see if all this contraption works. So here's what we got. We got our hose hooked up to our valve system up there, both valves open. Uh, we'll open the other one up when we get ready to transfer water. Uh, it comes down here, hits the incoming side of the pump, comes out goes over here to the top of the tank. Should be able to pump 60 gallons of water in just a little bit. So let's uh, plug this pump in, see what happens. seems to be going quite well. Uh, still got water coming out, pump still running, barrels are moving pretty much together. Uh, so I think it's going to work well. Uh, here, let me get this finished up and then I'll show you how we how it pumps out the bottom of the IBC tank. Alright, to transfer water out from the IBC tote to the RV itself, I've just kind of hooked up to this like it's the barrels. Um, inlet, outlet going to the RV, plug it in. We should move water. I've already got everything opened up over there. I have no leaks, so um, it's good. Uh, so let's transfer some water. Let's fill this thing up. Moving water. Whenever the fresh water tank gets full, you'll see water coming out down here uh, where it's coming out the top of the tank. There's a bleeder tube on there. And there we go, we're full. All right, well, everything seemed to work right. Uh, everything went well. Uh, that's gonna make water management a lot easier out here when uh, when my wife gets ready to take a shower at about eight o'clock at night and she's water spitting and sputtering on her and we got an empty, empty fresh water, uh, you know, because I forgot to fill it up during the day. I can run out here. I'll probably leave this all hooked up when we're out here camping and come out here, turn it on, fill up close the valves and go back in and sit down on the sit down on the couch um, anyway um, if y'all enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up hit that like button and subscribe if you don't mind sure make sure helps me out a lot when y'all do that and uh, appreciate y'all all right y'all have a good one see y'all on the next one